this is a very detailed confirmation very detailed this is not for everybody but it's going to make a lot of sense you would have already gotten this confirmation from god it's relating to your kingdom marriage okay um so as we all know the devil always plots against against kingdom marriages and he's always trying to stop kingdom marriages from happening right and in your particular situation or a couple of you guys or a bunch of you guys a lot of people are actually in the same situation but as i told you guys in many of my other videos a lot of this stuff you know goes way back goes back centuries goes back through the bloodlines and all of that stuff and the other day i got a message from god and the message is um you're the one you're the one that is meant to break the curse okay and he brought me back because remember i told you god was showing me a lot of like childhood movies and shows that we can watch that can kind of give us an idea as to what he is talking about relating to the warfare relating to what is happening and i told you guys about the snow white and i gave you guys an analogy in the snow white video and you know how he showed me grumpy and how snow white was praying to him and thanking him for the seven dwarves and how you know the the stone that the witch tried to roll on the seven dwarves actually rolled on her and that there's a scripture in proverbs that talks about that as well right so in this particular case he showed me beauty and the beast and he showed me beauty and the beast and if you guys remember beauty and the beast um bell actually ended up saving the beast um not saving him like physically as in like i'm gonna put a cape on and save you but more so you know when he met her she taught him how to love again she helped him open up his heart it was like her having love and her being that genuine person and and her loving him wholeheartedly despite who he is despite his past despite what he looks like that that helped him open up his heart and in order to break that curse that he was under he had to fall in love like he had to open back his heart the lord talks about talks about how important it is for us to keep our heart pure how important it is for us to love even to love our enemies you get what i'm saying so that just shows that the heart is powerful so in that movie beauty and the beast you know they'd put a curse on him to where it was hard for him to love he couldn't he can't open his heart and the only way the spell could be broken is through love and when she came she helped him open his heart to love right because she naturally had that um authenticity she naturally loved him and everything like that and it's the same thing with a lot of you guys it's like you have that heart you have that purity you have that anointed right anointing and because your heart is so pure and you love your kingdom par partner wholeheartedly that's going to help break whatever curse that is upon your kingdom partner okay Okay. but here's the deep part of it it goes back way into the bloodline i'm going to give you an example the example that god showed me okay so way back in the bloodline whether it's your end or your partner's end there was someone that took an oath okay and the person that took an oath in the bloodline what what they had to pay up to the devil is their bloodline so it's like someone going to the devil and saying i want i want riches or i want fame or i want this someone in the bloodline said that and the devil said okay well in order for me to give you this you need to give me your bloodline which means any generation to come i have control over you and the generations to come which makes sense as to why many of you guys who are experiencing witchcraft and stuff you have to remember that a lot of the warlocks and witches which this is why they pass things down in their families they pass the rituals down they pass the knowledge and wisdom down about the darkness to their children um if you watched um john ramirez he said that ever since he was a child he was brought up like he was taught how to do demonic things he went to demon church and all of that stuff so that is like his father passing it down to him because that is that is what is old what is old is the bloodline right so and some of you for some of you guys you know there's your kingdom partner or you one of you guys or both of you guys probably someone in the bloodline did this and the person in the bloodline that did this they owe the devil the, your bloodline or your, your partner's bloodline is owed to the devil right and here you come along that's why god said you're the one here you come along the anointed one right your partner's anointed too but here you come along or here your partner comes along and now you're helping break that curse so your partner marrying you being with you is going to actually help break that curse and this is why the devil tries so hard to block kingdom marriages and to stop kingdom marriages from coming together because when you guys come together instantly there's going to be a breakage of whatever oath that was taken 
through the bloodline centuries ago, okay? So I just wanted to give you guys that confirmation and God said, you are the one, you are the one that's going to break the curse. As a matter of fact, even in Beauty and the Beast, I remember the candle said to, um, to the clock, she's the one and the clock's like the one for what and the candle's like the one that's gonna break the curse do you guys remember that it's a girl i know it's a girl don't you see she's the one the girl we have been waiting for she has come to break the spell wait a minute, yes. wait a minute. i love you guys i'll talk to you soon bye